All right, here we go. Here you go. It's a lot of short hair cutting, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a tin all over. We always see Callie six, seven, eight, every three months. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay, you're okay. It's, lo it's loose. You worry? Are you worried? Loosen that just a little bit more, but you are a biter, so. I'm gonna watch myself. She's older and she comes in only about every three months, and there's no brushing happening. That's just reality. And so just taking her short each time keeps us right where we need to be without having serious mats. She's a biter, so I'm trying to watch where I'm going to touch her at. Serious mess. Doesn't mean there's not any in there now. And as old as she is, we're not going to... She's 14, 15 years old. We're not going to brush her all out and stuff. It's just it's too much. So those are the, like, well, I don't know. I'm not going to say anything. I guess every time we shave her down, you know, look at the hair. It grows back. It's thick. It's wonderful. It's luscious. It's just not brushed or maintained at home. So the hair, depending on the breed, it's fine. You know what I mean? I'm not doing your face yet. I'm not doing your face yet. No.
not want me to do that. going. Come here. No, no, no. in between her wrinkles here. You want to just be really careful in there, but you need to just get it out. So I'm doing a little bit of a 10 reverse here just to get in there without her biting and stuff like that. I'm kind of holding her jawbone here. Uh -uh. Nope. I'm trying to see if I can get a different grip so you guys can learn some other groups because when you're working by yourself, it's difficult.
make sure on the head. It's basically 10 all over head to toe. I feel like I can need a little something, something up here. It's not around her chin and her face. Keep in mind, in my head, I know they're not going to brush, so I don't want to leave too much or too little, right? Just kind of in between. And down here, this has got to go, though. The wrinkly skin. around an awful lot. No, no, I gotta get a grip here. Come down. Come down. Come down. a groom loop and I'm holding her ear yeah. coming in from behind instead of right at her face maybe that'll let me get in there come here come here good Come here. Come here, you're okay. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm using my elbow to kind of keep her on the table. She keeps twisting. She's just fighting it. That's fine. All their dogs will. She's kind of going, she's going blind. That's why there's a problem here. Okay. Get all that out of I don't really care what it looks like. We usually do a 10 on the face all over, but get all that out of her face. Okay, okay, okay. I'm petting her as I go. Come here, okay, come here. All oh, that gunk in her mouth. Ugh. Okay. 
Come here. I know you don't like it. I know. Good baby. Yeah, good baby. Hold on, I got boogers. Okay, check my speed. My feet. I have to do something here. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. I wish you would look at me. I can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, we got all that out. All right. Good girl. Yay. Yay. Let me look. Let me look and see. Let me look. Don't go. Over there. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, you can see me. Good girl. See? Oh, yeah, that's awesome. You want me to get in there? That's a good girl. Good girl. Are you kissing me? Aw, thanks. I got it all out. I got it all out. Yes, I did. I got it all out. Yeah, yeah, well, come in. Come in in. Come in in. You go reverse. <laughs> come here. Let me see a little bit more here so it's a little even. You're okay. Let me see. You're okay. I'm gonna bite my thumb. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Got all that out. Yay! Good girl. I bet that was bothering you. Huh? I bet that was bothering you. Was that bothering you? Yeah. Yeah. It's like that. It's like that. Look at all that hair down there. Good girl. Come here. Come here. Um, this is just a little something something. Doesn't have to be pretty and whatever. Not pretty, but you know what I mean, right? Watch that flap in there.
That's my tummy. Hungry. Did you guys hear my tummy? Hope not. Trim all that up at later. I'll brush it before the bath. Okay. This is the ear hair puller pad I use. That way I can keep going instead of stopping and wiping out my tool. Got like gunk in there. If you don't remove the ear hair, it's gonna be bad. Just remove this. little by little. If you do too much at once, it's pretty painful, I would imagine. Oh, good. Okay, here we go. Are you all done and excited? Hmm? We just have a little bit of shape up to do, okay? So because of her age, we don't blow dry her. She just air dries. She's actually almost dry already because, you know, she's got a short haircut, so. Come here. This is what I, I would totally opt to air dry all the senior pets if it were uh, my, my decision making. Got all those wrinkles and stuff, you gotta move them around.
a good way to hold to do to, uh, clean feet if you have to do that. Don't do that. Just come down. Stand up. Stand up. She doesn't want to stand. She doesn't want to put all four down anyway. Put your foot down. Nope. 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 No, 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 doing good, doing good. Stay hang in there. Hang in there. Okay. Whew, it's a lot of work. She doesn't need clean feet. I'm just making sure it's short enough that I got all the mats out between her toes. So it might as well look like it's kind of clean feet, but it's not It's not exactly clean feet. Now I've got my 40 on the pads. They're the best to do on the pads. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Where are you going to go anyway? Can't go anywhere. Okay, come on now. She's definitely pulling, you can tell, right? Stop, stop, stop. Focus, focus. Makes it very hard. Stop. can't skip it. It's all matted in there. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of gunk in there. Yeah. What is that? Probably poop. Okay. This is, too, this is becoming tedious, right? Okay, I'm going to show you a different hold here. Hopefully this will work out for us. Here. I'm going to come around this way.
checking everything over. Oh my goodness, I'm losing patience a little bit here. Nice, good girl. So this without this is my table without the risers. Imagine me just always on leaning down on the dog. It's very tolling on your back. So the the risers we have are very important. Is it still raining out there now? Yeah, it is. Stop, 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 stop. I'm moving around a lot. Stop, stop, stop. Put your foot down. Goodness, no, sweetie. Stop, stop. Are you kissing me? Are you kissing me? Put your foot down. No. Okay, I'm not gonna hold you then. I'm not holding you. Telling you, man, she knows I'm trying to trim and she's just purposely moving her foot. Look how low that is. It's not fair. You're not, you know, put your foot down. They're smart. I don't care how old they are, they are just smart. She's like, no, you can't have it. Look. Look, see? She's smart. You know what's going on? Stop. She knows what I'm trying to do. She's not going to help me. It's not fair. See, this is too too much. This will be too much on my back. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have a table, man, you really need a table. She did a lot better than last time, huh? She was really upset last time.
Hey you guys, thanks for watching Dee Croy with My Favorite Groomer on YouTube. Hallie, that's our miniest groom. Uh, I've been grooming her since July last year, and it is August of this year, it's 2018. So we've come a long way. Uh, she still comes in with oh, a few tangles, but a real small dog and curly hair growing out, but she's come a long way. She did pretty good today. She hardly tried to bite. It was really, it's really hard to work with an animal moving around a lot. It makes it very dangerous, if you could, you could tell, right? Makes it pretty dangerous. But she did, man, she did really well. Last time she was trying to bite a lot with her face. So the more it kind of comes over where she can't see, I think that really affects her. As soon as I got all that off her face, it seemed like she was like really relieved. She, a lot of rolls in here, so you don't want to just attack with your clippers straight in. You need to make sure you know what you're doing if you can't see the skin, right? Because it's loopy and rolly. You have to really open it up. And uh, she's 14, uh, 15 this year, so if she's 15 years old, that's just like human human skin. What happens to us is just wrinkly and, you know, as we get older, it starts getting wrinkly around here, especially around our neck and our inner thigh stuff, you know what I mean, I'm just getting personal. But same thing, if you're about to shave, you want to spread that skin out, make it taut, which is tight, and then come in and, and do the haircutting. Unfortunately, I don't ask her to come in too often for the budget, because I know that, that she has to budget. Uh, Hallie actually, her mom passed away. So then her daughter, which is who, who brought, who bring her, who her granddaughter drove her here today because her she woke up and ha got a flat tire. So they, I was like, thank goodness, granddaughter, for being here for your grandma. So this grandma took her mom's dog when her mom passed away. So I remember that's how they found me. She was in really, really rough shape. I'll, ha I'll have to see if I can put her on a playlist. You guys are right. The the regulars should have their own playlists. So uh, at one point, you know, I'm starting my playlist, but at some point we will have all those on a playlist for you. But Hallie and I go way back, and when she first came in, she was a mess. So go find her and see if you can uh, compare the grooming. It's come a long way. So she also has really bad teeth. So anytime you touch her jawbone, I can imagine, you know, at her age, we're not doing a dental again. So they, mom got Pets Life Gel the last time, but two grooms back I think and it just comes down to if you have a dog with really bad teeth you have to take your time that dog does not let grandma touch her at home like she's like Dee, Dee she will bite me so when dogs are different on the table I'm like grateful that we're able to accomplish what we have to do because it's a lot more you know than what the pet parent can even do at home brushing is not going to happen at home because of that okay all right thanks a lot for watching Dee Cor with my favorite groomer on YouTube if you want your ear hair pad the one I was using it helps you go faster you pull the ear hair out of the ears and put it on the pad if you want one of those uh, if you want any of the tools I'm using um, you can see how common today was everyone's about a 7 or a 10 blade it's really hot here in Texas but not only is it hot but it makes sense if you're not able to do brushing daily or you're not gonna do brushing daily then just do a short summer cut every time even if it's every three months they're inside dogs and they'll just do fine and look at look at them they all grow back out really thick and fluffy and we gotta do it all over again. So uh, listen to your clients, listen to what they need and try to work with their budget and what they need and what their work life is like, how often they work, how long they work during the day and kind of give them some advice based off of what they need. And they might be like, wow, Dee Dee, that sounds great, you know? Wow, that sounds great, let's just do that. I'll come in every three months, we'll set for the year and I won't have to brush every day, right? Cause I'm really busy. So listen to what their needs are. And, I know how, how old she is and I know kind of her budget, so 
a lot of stuff happens with families and, and homes, and you just never know. You, if, you, if you don't ask, you won't know. All right, thanks for watching Dee Dee Crow with my favorite groomer on YouTube. Make sure you get a t-shirt. There are some really fun ones coming out. Just keep watching the channel. All right, myfavoritegroomer.com slash shop. We'll talk to you later.